Okay. Today's video is on proportions. So the first thing we need to know how to do is cross multiply. So you only cross multiply when you have a fraction equaling a fraction. Okay? So to cross multiply, what you need to do is yeah, cross multiply. X times 6 is 6x. Always put the number before the letter and then set it equal to the other section. All right, so we did x times 6. Now we need to do 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6 as well. To solve this, since 6 and x are multiplying, to get x by itself, we divide by 6 on both sides. So x equals 1. OK, that's it for that one. And if you plug that back into the original, it should work out. All right, so same thing here. 4x times 6 first. 4 times 6 is 24, so 4x times 6 is 24x. So, done with that one. And we have 8 times 3, so equals, 8 times 3 is 24 as well. So, 24 times x, we have to divide by 24, both sides, and it happens to be 1 again. All right, these are just quick and easy examples to show you what cross multiplying is. This one might not work out so well though. All right, so we have first one, five times seven is 35. And then set it equal to the other one. Six X times two, so six times two is 12. So that's gonna be 12 X. Same thing, and divide by 12. Divide by 12, so x equals 35 over 12, and then we think if we can reduce it, but only 7 and 5 go into 35, but they don't go into 12, so that's it for that one too. All right. So. Proportions are mainly used when dealing with shapes that are similar, all right? So if we have two similar shapes, they're proportional. And we can make these fractions just like this, all right? Here's our first one. Say we have, this is number four, smaller box and then a larger, larger box but they're proportional, and that's what this means. It's actually called alpha. It means they're proportional. All right? And then usually in these problems, they're going to give us some numbers with the boxes. So say we have x and 5 on this one, and 16 and 20 on this one. All right, so to set up the proportion, you just use the same side. So this first side is going to be x over 16. All right, you can write this in different ways. This isn't the only way to do it. And then this would be 5 over 20. All right, 5 over 20. And then you just solve it like we just did. We'd have x times 20 is 20x equals 5 times 16, which is 80. And then you just solve, divide by 20, divide by 20, so we get x equals 4. Next one. This works with any shape. All right, so five, say we have two parallelograms, look like this, and they are proportional, so we use that symbol. Okay, and then we have nine and three on the side here, and 18 and two x here. All right, so same thing. Set up the proportion, 9 over 18 equals 
3 over 2x. Cross multiply, so 9 times 2x is 18x equals 3 times 18 is, well, 18 plus 18 is 36, plus 18 again is 54. Then we divide by 18 on both sides, and x will equal 3. Then the last one, say we have a single triangle broken up into two parts, all right? Right down the middle. All right? The smaller triangle inside the larger triangle is actually proportional to it. So what we can do, if this is 3 and the whole thing is 5, then this inside is 4 and this is x. To solve for it, pretty much doing the same thing. We have 4 over x, you can do this in multiple different ways, equals and then since we use 4 over x, we got to use the smaller one here first, 3 over 5. 3 over 5. And then you solve it. All right, so we have 4 times 5 is 20, equals 3 times x is 3x. And then divide by 3, divide by 3. So those cancel, and then x equals 20 over 3. You can't reduce that. So you're done. And that's it.